Hello, hello, beloveds, and happy, happy Thursday. I am so grateful to serve, share, and shine with you today. It has been such an intense and energizing and fulfilling um, shift in the air since the full moon. Hey, JJ, hey. Hello, beloveds. Thanks so much for tuning in and spending some time with me today. And so since the full moon, many of us have been feeling the shifts, the, the, the real changes that are coming through. And it's so important that we honor what our minds and bodies or spirits are saying. Hey, Tiffany, I see you. Hello, Auntie French, I see you, beloveds. And so one of the ways that really keeps most of us from healing, this is the hardest thing for many of us to get over, is our poisonous thoughts. It is our poisonous thoughts against ourselves and against each other that give us the hardest time to get over. Why? Because not only do we have the voices of ourselves inside with this poison, we also have the voices of others who have judged us, who have mistreated us, or you know, whatever the whatever the it, creation is. And then we also have that outside societal voice that tells us we're wrong. Hey, Tony. Hey, beloved. And so there's this sense of wrongness. And with that sense of wrongness also comes a sense of this poison. This poison is our judgments, our hardships, and all the things that we place against ourselves. And so when we start to have kind thoughts about ourselves, what that does is disrupt those poisonous thoughts that we've had so long. And so it really takes, and this is why spiritual practice is so important, it's not just about the devotion, it's about the dedication, it's about the honoring yourself on a daily basis. And so, can we be willing to be kind to ourselves? Today, just today, I want you to really mind your mind. Look and see what you are. It's okay, beloved. I see you, Al. Thanks for tuning in, beloved. Look at where the poison comes from. Look at where your poisonous thoughts come to. Do they come from an, a, you know, another voice? Or from within you and if so allow yourself to examine where they go because many of these poisonous thoughts create poisonous habits and behaviors and if we allow ourselves to really pay attention and then allow ourselves to be kind to ourselves so we can forgive ourselves what we do then what we do then is do that for others because what happens is we get so caught up in our story and our experience that we forget that there is an opportunity for healing on the other side. We want somebody else to make us feel better, but that is not how it happens. Forgiveness happens for us first before we can extend it. And so that's why forgiveness is so important because it's never about anybody else. It's never about somebody else's experience. It's about how you're internalizing it. And that's why the poison hurts because the poison hurts you. And so and look at how the poison paints everything. It point, paints your attitude, the way you dress, the way you feel about your body. It paints your bank account. It, point, it paints all the things that, that keep you from having what you want. So today, I'm going to ask you, be willing to be kind to yourself. Because when you can be kind to yourself, you, we can be kind to each other. Happy birthday, beloved. I see you. I see you. I see you. So let's practice kindness. Because the more kindness we can practice for ourselves, the more kindness we can practice for our children, for our mates, for you know the garbage man, for the police officer, for whomever it is, we are human beings. Regardless of whatever this is, we are human beings. And kindness comes in every language, just like love does. And so I just send you so much love today, beloveds. Sending you my, my sacred words, my sacred prayers for every man, woman, and child, every tree and every seed every animal and every insect. Yes, I am just knowing that we are all guided and provided in all ways, through all ways. And so I just release it and let it be and bless us above and below. You know, prayer is so important and that's why I put over 
seven different prayers and black pearl because I get so many people asking me how do I pray what can I say what do I do and so creating prayers creating sacred words hekau sacredness is a part of my healing process and so I invite you to also remember flow is available if you are healing some sexual trauma and really ready to flow please check that out for your weekly spiritual support and so I'm just grateful to serve to share and to shine so please take a peek at what's available we've got new things coming up for you always because spirit is always guiding me on how to serve how to show up spirit is always saying go do this beloved go do this and so here we are i send you so much love a happy thursday and until next time beloved namaste know you are loved you are the light and you are also blessed peace and blessings